Have yourself a nice trip. I'm saying it's true, but I heard a fella came into town trying to sell high. I'll have lamb fry. Yeah. Hello. Partner? I'll raise it. You done harming this town? Oh! Good job I sharpened up my scissors this morning. All right. How can I help you? How am I supposed to ride on like this? I'm about to go belly up. You can just leave it to me now. What's uh, coming from there? It's a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm good to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh, my. They don't see. 
seem to be fans of modern technology. They ain't through Is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. Help. Come on. Snap out of it, you're safe. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Well, well. Word is he's made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley serve. Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Stay safe out there. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell are you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town, just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it.
is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah! Just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know he got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell? Come on, Arthur! Get out of there! You dumb bastards!
That'll show him. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On a... Well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. What's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. I damn bounty hunter, son of a bitch! Damn you! Damn this!
Oh, hell. Take a bounty, you kill him. That's what I done. We're going back to Strawberry. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. They wouldn't have got me in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special. And you ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. Take a nap, old man. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. Yeah. Yeah. Turning back. I guess I'm all yours. All right, girl. I wish you'd killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. Real man wouldn't tie me like this. Real man wouldn't take me in. Hey, you looking for trouble? Holy hell. Here we are. Strawberry. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still here. Lucky? I ain't what I call it. Thanks. Won't be any more bounty posters up on this wall. Makes the visitors nervous, I'm told. Hello there. That horse doing all right? I'm happy to stable that for you. Turned up. I heard that before. You new in town, hmm? Uh, candy's in the middle there, next to the cute little dollies and hustle up to my self-respect. I have a catalog, too, up here. All right, but uh, if it has feathers or fur, keep it in the bag. Well, that was fun. Now, let's have a look. Oh, great. Say whatever you
you damn well please that I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll blast you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand. Later. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking, Wart. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yep. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. 
Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No. Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa. Are you gonna do something? here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine careful now we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch maybe if he asks uh, maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Not a chance. 
You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up.